Hey guys, here is our bump shot. I am very large. Hey guys, today is a really big day for bump um, and for me. So it is a big day for bump because I'm now officially 24 weeks pregnant. Um, so at five and a half months, you're pregnant for 40 weeks. The nine months thing is just a really, really rough, like a really rough. Um, thing they count it in weeks when they're doing it properly so I'm just over halfway but the reason 24 weeks is significant is because bump is now considered viable Yay. Um, which means that if I went into labour today the baby would have a good chance of surviving um, and more importantly the NHS would do whatever it could to make sure the baby survived whereas if I'd went into labour yesterday um, the NHS wouldn't I mean some, some of them might but generally the rule is that they wouldn't do what they could to make sure the baby survives so I'm really really happy to have got to this date um, um, it's also my birthday <laughs> I know. Keep, keep, people keep saying, oh, happy birthday. And I'm kind of like, what are you talking about? What? Oh, yeah, my birthday. No. The more important thing is that I'm now 24 weeks pregnant. Um, which is, it is a big deal for me because I know um, everyone has very different pregnancies, but I find it um, very hard to get pregnant, like about one in six people in this country. Um, I find it very hard to stay pregnant. Um, about one in three pregnancies will end in miscarriage so actually making it 24 weeks is a really really big deal um, and I find it very hard to give birth I know it's crazy just the whole having babies thing is quite quite traumatic that's a nice way of putting it traumatic I'll do some later videos on what it's actually like to be pregnant and what it's actually like to give birth um, but today is just a yay Baby's stayed inside for 24 weeks and at the moment it is literally just um, trying to keep him inside for as long as possible. But I thought since we've reached this big milestone and it's my birthday we would have a look at what I got for my birthday and the baby scan pictures. This is what I got for my birthday. It is a new bag. It is a changing bag. It is the only present I got for my birthday, okay? I'm really sorry, but when you get old, birthdays are kind of like slight non-events. It is massive. It's fantastic, okay? It's wet clean, it's got loads of pockets, it's got loads of handles, it's got straps so you can attach it to the pushchair, and it looks pretty, okay? Just because I'm having another baby doesn't mean I have to go around with a babyish looking bag so that was my present I'm sure very few of you actually care about changing bags but the interesting bit is looking at the scan pictures so I had four scans because I had IVF um, and they start quite early on so this is seven weeks Can you see that tiny, tiny little thing in the black sack there? That's the baby. At seven weeks, the side of a grain of rice. So all they were checking on this scan was, is there a baby in there? Because sometimes um, when you have your pregnancy test, you can just miscarriage really early on and there's no baby in there. And does the baby have a heartbeat? So yes. Baby's in there and then has a heartbeat. And then if I show you, um, a few weeks later at 10 weeks, can you see here? There he is. Again, you really can't see very much definition on this. If I just try and switch between the two of them. Here we are at seven weeks and then down here at 10 weeks. 10 weeks we've made it to the size of a grape. So quite a lot of growth in just three weeks. Um, but you still really can't see very much. The cool things start to happen when we get to 12 weeks. Baby is now about the size of a plum and actually looks like a baby. There we go, can we get that in focus? There. So there he is. Now, if you just think back to my 10 week scan, this is two weeks later, okay? 
I know I'm going on about this a lot, but look at the difference between blob, you can only just make out, there's the head, there are some little leggy looking things, and there's something that actually looks like a baby. And down here with the size of a grape, and up here with the size of a plum, so about that big in real life, so actually quite a lot smaller than the picture comes out. Um, but you can see he's got heads, he's got a jaw, he's got little legs in there, you can actually see stuff. And then the 20 week scan, which is the big scan because they check um, whether the brain's all there, whether the heart's there, whether the organs are there, whether um, the cleft lip is present or not, whether hands, feet, legs are present or not. There is our 20 week scan. He's big. Did I tell you that already? He's a big, big baby. He is measuring on the 95th percentile, which means if you took 100 people and lined them up in order of height, he would be the 95th tallest person. He, he was supposed to be about the size of an aubergine, but I'm measuring two weeks ahead, so he was probably a bit bigger than he was supposed to be then. Um, he's not going to be fat, he's going to be tall. His legs are apparently kind of like off the scale for things. So, he's going to be a tall baby. Um, if you want more baby updates, if you want to be one of the ones first to know um, when I pop, when I give birth, do the first baby pictures, then it's not going to be on YouTube. Um, it's going to be on Twitter and Instagram, so follow me on Twitter probably. So follow me over there um, because it's much easier for me to snap a photo and upload it to Twitter than it is for me to make a whole video and edit it. Um, so yeah, baby. Happy. Happy 24 weeks, baby.